These are the component parts of an e-power steering unit that we're going to attempt to put into a late model Corvair. The late model Corvair is just a standard gearbox. On this particular Corvair, the gearbox had a 47 inch long shaft that protrudes all the way through the firewall into the steering wheel. So we're going to remove the steering wheel and set free the shaft that's on the gearbox. We've already marked the steering column shaft to be cut in the proper location. Now we're going to remove the gearbox. Okay, so now we've cut the shaft in the proper location. We're going to assemble the steering wheel hub back on the remaining shaft, slide it down the column, and we're going to attempt to mount the power steering unit to the shaft. Now you can see the steering column shaft come through the column. This is the point at which the sleeve with the spline attaches to the power steering box. So now the e-power unit is connected to the steering column shaft with the coupler. Now we've added the gearbox and the remaining shaft in the gearbox is now connected to the coupler to the e-power steering unit. Here you can see the e-power steering unit coming through the fender wall just so slightly. You'll have to alter your fender wall to make this application functional. So here you see the installation of the e-power unit installed at the steering column with all the wiring. We elected to put the electronics for the e-power unit right underneath the front hood. It was simple to install here and directly above the gearbox.